This video contains every gold race on Isle of Dorne, timestamped for your convenience. If you haven't watched my skywriting tips video yet, it discusses many of the tricks used in this race. But otherwise, here we go. Thunder Trail Head, Reverse. Waters nourish you. So I'm going to open up on this race just to get Thrill the Skies up ASAP. So I'm going to do two, well, three bursts at the start. Then I'm going to pool energy here until I'm going up. Skyward Ascend Flick here. Another Skyward Ascend Flick here a little bit. Another one here. And the Skyward Ascend Flick here. And another Flick here. A pool energy going down again. I'm not in a hurry yet. Flick here. And start sprinting downward. And I'm maintaining full speed. Skyward Ascend. All the way up using Skyward Ascend. Flick there. Then you might keep my speed here. Still maintaining full speed. I've not lost my sprint yet. And that's an easy gold with time to spare. That's how you do reverse Thunderhead Trail. Sorry. Now on to the next one. Have awakened. I like to go backwards because I like to do the hard ones right off the bat. So now I'm going to go into advanced. May the flights protect you. We're just going to be going in the other direction. Again, the first goal is to get Thrill the Speeds, Thrill the Skies up ASAP so I can start getting bigger. Skyward Flick here. Get a huge burst of speed. Skyward Flick here. Another one here. Pool energy going down. I like to have a lot of energy for the second half. Okay, wait for it. Flick here. Another flick here. And keep sprinting. And at this point, you should be able to go all the way to the end without really slowing down. Which I messed up a little bit there, but I should be able to recover with a flick here. And that was still gold, barely. I missed management energy a little bit at the end. I could have waited a little longer to start that sprint. But I still recovered. Because the Skyward Flick is a huge part of these races. As long as you can get your speed back like that. We safeguard the it's pretty it's still it's still pretty easy to get a gold. Now let's get the free one. Continue to serve. Do the hard ones first, and you get the freebie. Again, just gonna use the surges right away to get speed up. Then here you're gonna use the winds to go up. Won't even have to use Skyward Ascent here, the winds will do it. I'm still going to pull energy here. I not, don't need to pull as much as I am now, but I'm going to pull it anyway. But I'm going to start my sprint sooner because I'm going to get winds going up. Starting to sprint here. Still going to use Skyward Ascent here into the wind. Then let the wind carry me up. The winds will keep your speed up even if you're not using a lot of vigor. On the free one. They're out of winds, so just keeping the speed up. And that should be an easy gold. Because that's the freebie. Yeah, like five seconds to spare. And that concludes the first course on the map.
The one at the top. The next race on our tour is throwing a gold drift and diving right into reverse. Aspects watch over you. Again, the priority is to get through all the skies up ASAP. That's when you turn blue and start generating vigor. Pulling energy a little bit here. And I think this is a short case, so now I can go. And this race is significantly easier in first person because of the turns are kind of sharp. And you can hit lanterns pretty easily if you're not careful, like that one there. And that one there. And in first person, they're a lot easier to navigate around, trust me. And that one, I took a wide turn, but you don't have to do a wide turn, but I just feel it's safer there. And that's gold reverse. Super easy. It's a very short course. The only thing difficult about that course is literally those lanterns. And if you do this race in first person mode, it'll be a lot easier to see them and maneuver around them than it is in third person because the camera works in your favor in first person. I'm going to do the same thing again Awakened. for advanced. Continue to serve. Just to the other direction. Again, just two boosts at the start because I want to get that speed up. Then I'm going to pull just a little bit. There's no urgency right away to get speed until I have a little bit more vigor. Okay, now I can start going sprint here. And again, see that lantern that I narrowly missed? That's the only thing on hard in this course. It's got a pretty generous time. Their lantern right there. But keep going, going, and done. Again, super easy gold. And now for the freebie. We safeguard the aisles. Go right into the normal course. Waters nourish you. This one won't require probably any energy pooling, to be honest. And you could probably run into a lantern or two and still pass it. But still, two boosts to start to get the thrill of skies up. I'm still going to pool a little bit. Because it's a proven strategy on this course. Okay, start the sprint. Fear through the wind. Sharp turns. Watch the lantern. Hardest part of the course has been beaten already. Next lantern is here. Avoided that. And it's cake from here. Just don't hit anything and that's it. Gold. Completed. And that concludes Storm Gold Drift. The next course is Stormwatch's survey going right into reverse. Aspects watch over you. This one starts going upwards, so you're going to open up with Skyward Ascend right off the bat. Then boost forward, get some thrill the skies going. But pooling energy, just a little bit. Pooling energy. Starting sprint here at this orb. Still going at full speed, not losing any momentum at all. I missed that orb, but I probably should be fine because I pulled a long time. If not, I'll just recover later with a flick. And that's an easy goal, despite the fact that I blew by an orb and had to pull energy a little bit to recover. As long as you start at the orb I showed you where to start at, you should be able to sprint the rest of the way 
Especially if you don't miss that orb like I did. The Isles have awakened. Now to do advanced. Stand firm in your duty. Now this one starts going downwards. It's not as hard of a start. You just get through all the skies immediately with two boosts. And then pool energy a little bit. Now just coast over the hill. Let gravity do the work here. Okay, got that orb. Starting a sprint now. Try not to miss any orbs like I did that last race. Just go, go, go. The key to a race like this, which is designed to be a sprint because it has a bunch of orbs, is to have enough energy pool at the start to maintain your momentum the rest of the race. Which is why it's okay to start slow. People think you have, when you do dragon riding, you have to start fast. That's actually not important at all. It's finishing fast that matters more than anything. Gold. And that's going extremely slow at the start. Slower than I even needed to be going. See, there's this mentality to where if your time is bad to start, you gotta start over. Like, I see a lot of people are doing these. They're like, oh, I had a bad start. Doesn't matter. Save your energy, and as long as you go zoom, like, full speed, at least half the course, which is the latter half, you could usually make up all the time you lost at the start. The reverse is, hard, is rarely true, though. If you run out of gas early, it's almost impossible to get your speed back the rest of the race, and you tank the race in most cases. So keep that in mind. Now to get the freebie. Flow once more. This one's just going to be YOLO, because it really just doesn't matter what you do. You can't, it's hard, these are hard to screw up. They're freebies. But two boosts to start to get through all the skies. Coast over the hill. Let Gravity do the work. Get a little bit of energy pooled. The winds will do the work here. Still coasting, haven't pushed a single boost. Okay, now I'm gonna boost the rest of the race. I've got to turn that off, son of a bitch. Ignore that. That's kind of funny. I apologize. I'll have to turn the Streamlabs notifications off. I'm not actually streaming right now. But the Twitch alerts still go when I'm recording a YouTube video. This one I've pretty much been AFKing. I barely boosted at all. I just let the winds do the work. And that's an easy gold. I think I pressed the surge button like four times the whole race. And two of them are at the start. I just let the winds carry me all the way through. I pretty much AFKed that one. Well, that concludes this race. The next one is the Wold Ways. And we're going to dive right in with Reverse. You. Standard rule. A couple boosts to start to get through all the skies off ASAP. Gonna flick here to get a lot of speed. Pulling energy. Not in a super hurry yet. Click here. Now starting a sprint. Maintaining full speed. This one can be a bit toxic, but first person will make it easy. Just trust. Still going full speed. No slowdowns at all. Trying to clip the ground there. Make sure to get that orb, but again, avoid the ground. First person is your friend here. Gives you better perception. Go around the tree this way, even though the line goes the other way, follow the orb. And that's that. That is reverse with 10 seconds bonus. This one is ridiculously easy. 
Aspects Grace shine down on you. Now on to advanced. Um. Now we do the advanced race. For this one, do a couple boosts right at the start, stick it through all the skies, and pull a little bit until you get to here. And then do a flick here, get the speed, and then start a sprint. A good flick will always get you going ASAP. Make sure to get that orb. I think I missed it. I'll be able to recover speed later with a good flick here. Remember, if you're going upward even a little bit, always use Skyward Ascend because you'll get a huge boost of speed from it. Especially if you flick your momentum forward. This one has a lot of tree branches in this area, but when you're in first person, you can navigate much easier. So I got good speed. Just take it nice and easy. Again, easy gold. If anything, that one was a little harder than the reverse, but that's because the opening was a little crappy. But like I've said in, uh, many times, a good flick can get your speed back from almost any mistake, as long as there aren't too many mistakes, or it's not super tu tuned tightly, and most of these aren't. The, the hard tune doesn't really come into the challenge courses. <clears throat> now here's the free one. What do you seek? We'll just get the freebie out of the way now. Like I said before, I love doing these backwards because I like to just get the hard one out of the way. Especially since you learn the course reverse first. Because if you do, if you do the, the two easier ones first, then you go into the reverse with muscle memory of the other direction. And that's the first thing that makes it more difficult. So you want to go into reverse with no muscle memory, get the hard one out of the way, and then go into the easier ones without worrying about having to do that, oh god, I gotta learn this backwards later. Just learn it backwards first. That's the way I do it, it just works better for me men mentally. And this one I'm pretty much auto autopiloting it. I'm barely using Surge except for like, I remember to because the winds always take you to full speed when you touch them. That one I just went through, that tree tries to bait you to cut, uh, edge the rock. You can take it wide. Sometimes they try to bait you with the lines. The lines are like, you must cut through. And it's like, nah, you can kind of go round it wide. And yeah, that's a freebie. I wasn't even trying to get a good time. If I actually tried, I can probably get this down to like 55 seconds. But that's it for that course. We've arrived at base and bypass. And I'm going to dive right into reverse. Stand firm in your duty. So we're going to start this with a couple of boosts at the start, just to get through all the skies. Then we'll coast here just briefly, just so we get to here. And we'll do a skyward flick here, get some speed. And this is going to be tough part. But in first person mode, you can make it a lot easier to navigate through that tunnel. That's the hardest part of the race right there. And you should be able to maintain a sprint for most of this, but if you lose speed, there's plenty of opportunities to do a skyward flick to get it back. This one's pretty generous with orbs, as long as you stay full speed. And I swear by doing this in first person because you can make these turns so much easier. Look at how much extra time I had. This course is ridiculously easy as long as you don't hit that tunnel right at the start. And if you go in the first person, you'll probably get it in one or two shots. If you try to do that tunnel in third person, you'll run into that wall ten times in a row. I guarantee it. Just go in the first person. Just trust me on this, on, on this course. If you don't, don't, don't normally do first person on most courses, do it here. 
Aspects grace shine down on you. And the same applies to advanced. Honor all dragons. This one we gotta do a boost or two at the start just to get through all the skies up. But I'm not gonna go into a sprint right away. I wanna pull a little bit of energy. And do a flick here. Now I start the sprint. With the speed boost from the flick. And a good pool of vigor. Now I should be able to do full speed the rest of the course. And even if I screw up that tunnel, which is possible, because I do the start of the course so well, I should have time to make up. A good five seconds worth of mistake buffer here. But because I'm in first person, a tunnel was cleared effortlessly. Smooth sailing from here. Beat it with time to spare. Okay, I didn't have a 5 second buffer, I had about 3.3 second buffer, but still, with 3.3 seconds, even if I hit the wall on that tunnel, two good scoured flicks, I would have been back to full speed, and I still would have made gold. Very tightly, but I would have made it. The Isles have awakened. Now, on to the normal freebie. It always feels good to the freebie last because even if the first two take it did not happen. I promise you it did not happen. Until we meet again. I'll take it a little more seriously. The server's lagging a little bit. Yeah. I got into that wind and didn't get the speed buff for like two seconds. Okay. Now I know I hit that. This one's basically an autopilot gold anyway. This one didn't go through the tunnel. Notice how the easy one goes above the tunnel? Only oh, advanced and reverse go through it. God, that's, that's a freebie. Wow, that lag. I hit that speed boost like a full second after getting it. I barely got gold on that. The server's lagging right now. But anyways, that's the freebie. And finally, we arrived at the last course in this zone. Oreo's Dog. And I know it's not what it says, but that's what I'm going to call it. Oreo's Dog. And we're going to start with Oreo's Dog Reverse. May the flights protect you. This is the only course in this zone that actually has hazard orbs. Since the rest of the zone is just... You get a flick there. Big jolt of speed. Going upwards, you're only going to use Skyward Ascend here. Skyward Ascend flicks. Quiet glyph, I don't care. Pull a little bit here, do another flick here. Then start sprinting on the way down. I don't actually remember where the orbs are on this one, so I might be a little bit too sprinty already. But it's sure it's fine. Skyward flick here. Skyward flick here. Get a good sprint going. And easy reverse. Now the next one. The waters flow once more. Honor all dragons. The key to this course, absolutely, is the Skyward Flick. If you haven't mastered that, this one's much harder. So if you're still having trouble learning that technique, I suggest going to my, my other video on tricks. For skyriding, to figure out how to do that. 
this part right here just scoured flicks all the way up. Look how fast I'm going. A little bit of energy here. You can search through the orbs, but I didn't really want to. I have so much vigor. There's Skyward Flick here, because I'm kind of screwing up too much. And I'll go full sprint the rest of the way. I screwed up a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Easy gold. Now the hard ones are out of the way. Now to get the freebie. The Isles have awakened. And notice most of these are one shots. I've had a couple that I didn't one shot, and it's usually because I'm screwing off. And that's because once you master the, the tricks like Skyward Ascend Flick, and you get really good at turning. These courses actually usually become much easier to master, even going into them blind for the first time. Just coast into that wind, it doesn't matter. Normally I'll be using Skyward to send flicks here to get speed, but I just don't care enough. I'm just letting the wind do the work. Cooling Vigor to just sprint the rest of the way. Okay. That concludes the Isle of Dorne. Every race in this zone done with these for the most part. And the biggest tips for this zone are to use the Scour to Send Flick and First Person Camera. And the rest just comes easy. Thank you for watching. And I hope you like and subscribe to these videos to see more skywriting tricks or just other World of Warcraft content that I put on this channel. Thank you.